What is the creepiest thing you have seen in the woods? I was driving home after an extremely late night at work, I lived in the middle of nowhere. About a mile before I got there a woman covered in blood jumped out of the woods into the middle of the road screaming. I panicked and went around her then slammed on the brakes to help. Her boyfriend had beaten her and was currently chasing after her in the woods. I got her in my car and called the police, they met us at the hospital because I told them there was no way I was waiting on the side of the road when he was coming. I used to work in low-income home weatherization, basically giving free shit away to help lower electricity and gas bills and make the home more comfortable to people who really needed it, installing doors and insulation and so forth. One step in qualifying a home is testing combustion appliances to make sure they're not emitting carbon monoxide into the living space, because if they are and we seal up the house we could kill the whole family. During a pre-inspection of a home on the outskirts of the city in the middle of a forest, I asked to see the owner's water heater. He tells me that it's in the basement, which is fairly normal, and I tell him I have to inspect it before work can start. So, he goes into the kitchen and starts moving the refrigerator. Turns out the entry into the basement is underneath carpeting beneath the fridge. I should note that I went and did thousands of homes over the years, and had never seen such a thing. But, whatever, needs to be done regardless and so I pull out my flashlight and shine it down the stairs, to check out the layout but really to look for black widow spiders because duck black widows. At this point I notice a dead cat, mostly down to a skeleton. Not my favorite sight but really common in crawl spaces and basements. I take a few steps down the stairs and continue my spider check, and notice another couple of small animal skeletons. At this point I start to worry about gas, or poisons, or something equally dangerous, and start looking closer. There are animal skeletons everywhere, at least 10 on a cursory look. Some of them are so degraded I can't determine what they used to be. I also happen to notice that this guy is waiting at the entrance a little too quietly, with his hand on the door. Something clicks in my brain and I get this immense sense of danger. I'm about four steps from the door being clear to close, I have no partner on the job with me, there's death all around me, and I realize just how hidden the entrance to the basement really was. I noped the duck out, told the guy I needed extra tools and would be back, and marked the job as non-feasible for health and safety as I was driving away. I have no idea if I was actually in any danger, it could have been completely innocent, but I still remember the adrenaline rush and sense of doom, and sometimes you just don't take chances. Found a deer with its hind end ate up, few feet away was a coyote with the hind end ate up, then another few feet away a fox with its hind end ate up. Nothing else was there, no bullet holes or signs of arrow or anything else. Couldn't find any tracks from other people or animal. It was pretty creepy. I'd been at football training with a few of my cousins when I was about 10 years old. We decided to take a walk through the woods before our parents picked us up, so we went along the canal towpath. My cousin looked down in the canal and say a really nice jacket floating along and being a weird scavenger person decided to reach in to fish it out. Well, the jacket turned over. And so did the man wearing it. He also had no face left. My dad and I were walking through the woods when we came across a young moose leg lying on the ground. It looked like it had been violently torn off with no sign of the rest of the moose anywhere. It was fresh with blood still on the wound, probably no more than a couple hours old. My dad is a pretty skilled hunter so he handed me his axe that he was carrying and told me to watch for wolves while he started looking for tracks. After a little bit he came back saying that's weird, normally if it was wolves you'd be able to find paw prints but I can't see any. Also no bear prints so I have no idea what killed this. And so I'm like you didn't find any tracks at all? And his very reassuring response was, well I did find what appears to be the mama moose tracks headed this way. Showing me the tracks you can see how her stride is a lot longer here, whatever killed her baby she didn't want it to fight it she just took off running. He then pulls out his bear spray and holds it at the ready as we kept walking deeper into the woods with the unnamed non-track leaving predator armed with bear spray and an axe. When I was about 7 or 8, my parents sent me to a local summer camp that they would pick me up from in the afternoons. I never really liked it because the kids were mean, everything was either broken or not clean, and the counselors obviously didn't care. I remember the girls' changing room had a door that lead out to the woods but the doorknob was gone so it was unlocked all the time and you could see into it. This was primarily where the girls changed into their bathing suits and there was usually someone blocking the view while we changed so the boys couldn't look in. Well. One day I'm changing alone and someone wasn't blocking the door. 
I look over and see an eye peeping in through the hole watching me change. I pull the rest of my clothes back on quickly and run out to tell my twin brother. I tell my dad that I don't want to go back to that camp anymore and he begrudgingly takes us out of the camp pretty soon after because he knew how much we hated it. Years later, the camp has been closed down for many many years and I'm asking my dad about it. He gets really grim and tells me it shut down because a 13 year old boy had forced 7 year old girl in the woods right behind the girls bathroom a few weeks after I had told him about someone watching me change. Cowlitz River, Washington State. Camping with my dad and sister me buddies, early 90s. Something was throwing rocks and sticks into our camp. We shined a flashlight out and caught a reflection of eyes and a silhouette. Very very tall. Kept throwing stuff in our camp randomly for about 15 minutes. We just stoked the fire really high. In the morning I woke up to heavy footsteps in our camp and something reeked. Woke up my dad. He shook the tent and yelled. Whatever it was, ran off. My girlfriend and I were hiking along some abandoned railroad tracks and we get to a small bridge going over a little creek. I'm about to go explore under the bridge when she points something out. I look over and in the woods across from us I see a guy. I'm like whatever and keep headed down to the creek area and then the guy stands up and he's naked. We immediate backtrack pretty quickly to get away from there and once we're like one minute down the trail I look back and this naked dude is just standing in the middle of the trail watching us walk away. My friend and I were chilling in the woods one day back in high school and see a dog walking by, later followed by this kid. He looked troubled so we asked if he needed help. He obliged telling us he was dog sitting for his friend and the dog got loose. So we spent a good hour following this dog and kid around, going deeper and deeper into the woods. Eventually I finally got the dog to come to me, but it wasn't wearing a collar so I wasn't able to get a hold. My friend and I look away for just few seconds to discuss strategy, and when we turn back around the boy and the dog are both gone. It was like they completely vanished. Keep in mind it was autumn so any footsteps could be heard from quite afar. But it was just silent. Not a single trace of them anywhere. Still don't really know what happened. I was in a large wooded area near my BF's home, with him, hanging out nearly at midnight. We had gone in pretty deep and it required a good amount of climbing. The closest path was maybe 5 to 7 minutes climbing down so it was highly unlikely someone could be at that spot, that time of the night, besides us. As we were kissing and stuff he thought he saw a shadow move 20 to 25 feet to the left of us climbing, but it stopped suddenly when my BF looked at it. He told me to be wary and that exact moment we saw a dark figure climbing a little up but diagonally, like he tried to go directly above where we were. We didn't move and watch him till he closed the horizontal gap and was directly above us maybe 15 feet of steep downhill thick forest. Then he began to come towards us. Without skipping a bit my BF grabbed my hand and we almost ran downhill till the path. We made it in less than two minutes while still holding hands and listening to the man running behind us. We ran as fast as we could down the path and out of the forest where there was a cafe and some basketball and tennis courts next to the wooded hill, and of course, people. As we realized we came really close to be mugged or worse, we vowed never to go there at night again. During a YMCA camp, 15 to 20 years ago, was around 11 to 13 at the time. We were camping in tents in a forest area. Was middle of summer so stayed light till around 10 p.m., 11 p.m. till it was fully dark. So we go on a night walk with the group and are halfway into the forest when we notice someone definitely not belonging to our group following us. Camp leaders rushed us back to camp and put us into our tents with one leader staying up to watch us. K halfway through the night, wake up and have to pee like a madman. Get out of the tent to walk to the bathroom and see the leader supposed to watch us asleep in his chair by the campfire. Look around and see that the guy following us earlier has opened up and is peeking into one of the tents, while fumbling in a bag he is next to him. Scream louder than I ever screamed in my life. Leaders wake up, jump the guy and hold him till the police arrive. Turns out he had a taser, blindfold, rope and several knives in his bag. When I was a kid, I used to live on a tiny property in the woods. My house was basically built around where stables were once. My room was, back when it was still stables, where the hay was stocked. Before getting to the creepy thing I need to say some other stuff. When you were in my room you could sometimes smell hay out of nowhere. My dog was always refusing to go upstairs because something was scaring the shit out of it there. You could sometimes hear knocking on doors, there were three entrance doors in my house, 
sometimes all at once. Now that this have been said, we can go to the fun thing. So my room had a big ass window that gave a big view over the woods and my garden was basically a clearing. Once, I heard a kid giggling from upstairs. I ran there only to find my window open, and something running out in the woods. I spent two more years in this house and felt insecure the whole time.